You know what people are playing in gold, dude? In top lane, they're playing Mordekaiser. They're playing. They're playing Orn. Like they're playing Maokai. Like they're not playing the stuff that's actually broken. You know what I mean? Because if they were playing the stuff that was actually broken in gold, they would be abusing Hullbreaker and Hydra every game. Yeah, they're playing Darius in gold, right? True. Darius can't build Hydra or Hull. Well, I guess he could build Hullbreaker. I don't know if he will this game. How's that pushing towards them? Okay, it's pushing towards me now. It's nearly time. Just gotta give CS. Oh, fuck. Dude, his cannon's gonna die before mine. There's no way. Okay. Does he actually have a second win too? Yeah, he probably does. Nope, he has Nimbus Celerity. Secondary. He does have Doran's Doran Shield though. Okay, he's all on me here. Nocturne's bot side though, there in my jungle. Is that the wave skip? I can't, I can't play in that lane. He saves everything all in me, so just gotta skip that. Unfortunately, it is a cannon wave, so that does spent. suck, but if I just stand there and play it normally, he's gonna kill me. And then Darius snowballs on me, and then I lose the game, so I gotta do it this way. No, Season 14 will change the meta, because AD Bruisers are getting blanket nerfs, basically. Hydra is getting nerfed, Tr Trinity is getting nerfed, Divine Sunder is getting removed for a much worse option, in my opinion. Sundered Sky is not nearly as good as Divine Sunder. It's not even the same level of item. Hullbreaker is getting gutted, basically. Like, there's so many nerfs that AD Bruisers are eating next split, or next season. So the, the meta will change. Um... Tanks are going to be kind of buffed because Sunder is getting deleted and AD Bruiser's other items are getting weaker, which is good for good for tanks as well. We have actual items that will deal actual damage, like Leandries and Riftmaker will give plus 16% damage and percent health burn, Omni Vamp. <laughs> Shia Sep, you know who's going to be good next, next season? Kale. No more getting ran down by bruisers every time you look at your laning phase. Well, maybe, but it should be a bit easier for her. It's nearly time. Might miss something here. Uh, yes, the W trick. The new Shojin's busted. No. The current Shojin is busted. The new Shojin is much more balanced. The new Shojin is going to be a damage amplification item. It does give CDR in your basic abilities, but it's more about damage amp. It's not about CDR. Like, it does give CDR, don't get me wrong. It gives quite a bit of it, but it's not hyper amplified. So, for reference, current Shojin gives about, what, 49 ability haste by itself for your Q, W, and E. The new Shojin will only give 35. So, that's a nerf right there. I'm gonna 
pre-ult for this, because Nocturne's gonna come top. So it will be much more balanced. Top match will have an issue for Kale. It's the jungle, the jungle pairings and range issue where all the meta mage is that ranger. Yeah. Syndra, Ori, Quay is another one. That's what I noticed too, because like whenever I play Kale, I'm like, okay, cool. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get level 16. At level 16, she gets what, 650 range right? Or 750? She gets extra range at 16. I'm like, cool. Time to kite people with my huge damage and I'm gonna auto and I'm gonna win. No, you get hit by a Syndra fucking QWE from across the screen, and then you die. You get one shot instantly. Or they put Ori on a ball on Nocturne, and then you're dead. Can he fight me? He has Merc's Rush. Both sums on him, no worries. Uh, I don't know why he kept going there. That's really weird. Super weird to keep going there. I think they thought that I recalled, but I did not recall. I stayed. I have blue buff. Ah, fuck is on me. No! I don't have phase rush! Ah! Ah, Kiana's coming! Kiana's coming! Kiana's coming! Kiana's coming! Why is she coming? Oh, it's not even close, dude. I wasn't. Even, I wasn't even worried. I wasn't even worried, honestly. I was chilling the whole time. I wasn't worried at all. She went back mid. We're chilling, dude. All good. No worries. Kill is five twenty-five range at six and six twenty-five at sixteen. I thought she was longer than six twenty-five. That's crazy, though. Wait, she has less range than Caitlyn. She should definitely have equal to or more range. Considering how impossible it is to get, like, consider how impossible it is to get extra range, or, sorry, to, to get through the early game. There's so many matchups for Kale that just absolutely cuck her. Like, have you ever tried to play Kale versus, like, Malphite or Nasus? That's Malphite, I don't know. At least whenever I play it, I struggle very hard against those two champions. Jax. Jax is impossible. I really, uh... And there's so many things that just that it's it's so hard to play her. Good old phase. Jack's really unplayable. Yeah, I believe it. Should I go demonic or just get Rylai's? Rylai's is so good against their team. I'm a greedy boy, though. I'll go demonic. I'm a greedy, greedy boy. I'm not saying I want Kelby buffed. I'm saying she will, in my opinion, she'll be a bit better next season. Because bruisers are getting nerfed. If there's less people playing Jax and Irelia into Kale. Like, yeah, tank matchups are not easy for her either, but, like, they're more playable. IMO. Okay, 
Nocturne's not on it. He's over here. When new season? January 11th. My Aesol is having connection issues. Come back, brother. To shake or not to shake. <laughs> he ghosted at me. Ah, uh, he's pissed. He's pissed, dude. Nice ghost, idiot. <laughs> X Flash Gaming, bro. We got Dragon off that too. Current banning trucks of Yone, Fiora. Fiora is not. It's not beatable, dude. I know Riven is absurd, but she's actually stronger than Riven. Fiora is actually way stronger than Riven. Because Riven doesn't go Hullbreaker, Fiora goes Hullbreaker, it's extra unplayable. Like, Riven cannot, like, perma split push if her team is losing. If Fiora's team is losing, she can perma split push and just keep you in lane. Then you have to coin flip the game. I guess Yone is very OP too for like similar reasons though. There's more Fiora players? Yeah, there's more Fiora players. That is also true. Yo, is that my boy Laszlo? Holy shit, dude, welcome, man. But it's okay. Meta, meta is shifting in season 14. Like I said, uh, AD Bruiser blanket nerfs, Hallbreaker removal, or Hallbreaker gutting. It's more of a rework, honestly, but they're, rework they're reworking it to be way more healthy. Uh, AP item buffs. The meta is shifting, dude. I'm excited. I have not been as excited about a new season, like, since season 10. I'm, I'm very ready. I don't know what, I don't, I'm gonna go Rhylai second here. Because I'm afraid if I have a Virtue, I'm gonna get ran down. So I'll do Virtue third, or do, like, Rocket Belt third, we'll see to get this Hogmaw. It's gonna have to be Radiant probably though. Yeah, with Void Grubs too, we get more top lane fights, which is super good. Also the Void the void Grub uh, buff is really strong. To push turrets with. I'm excited, dude, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be fucking dope. Like literally, whenever I, I look through the change list for season 14, like every single change, I'm not even exaggerating. Every single change, I am so happy. Like, I agree with it on a design level. And I don't think I've ever had that, like, feeling about any sort of, like, Riot change list. Like, because there's always usually like, some good and some bad. This is the first time where I'm like, yeah, this is, like, all good. Which I'm very happy about. His ghost is down. Am I dead? I don't think so. I was gonna say. I don't think he gets me there. He knows I'm here that I walked over a ward. He does have flash up. Or he has ghost up, so. I don't think you're getting me, bud. Dude, that that ocean that ocean buff is coming in so clutch here. This is the most OP early game buff you can get, by the way. In the entire game is the the ocean buff for reasons like that. It makes it very hard for you to die. I'll get hired by Riot and fix top lane for you. Shy, I think top lane's gonna be a lot better next season though, with like the void grub buff and AD Bruiser nerfs and stuff like that. Cause like they're buffing AD bruisers, but they're not they're not buffing ranged top laners really. So like it should be just a net positive for us. It's nearly time. I think it will be a good time. I'm excited. I'm gonna proxy a wave and then walk down and drag it's in 40. 
keep this area stuck up here, hopefully. An enemy has been slain. You been switching AD carry? I think you would like it, Shy, if you switch AD carry. I think it would be a good role for you, unironically. Because you are very uh, mechanical. For the same reason, I'd recommend mid lane to you, but whatever you want to play. You'd be good at anything you play. I believe in Tricep Supremacy. Aw, oh, my bad. I had something like you. He's dead, though. Nice. We just take tier 2 mid. Oh, fuck. I flung his shield. It's fine, though. I think we just group for drag here and take it. Because they have two dead. No, Shy, you had, you had awful spacing. It's better now. Remember, you've been practicing. She's on that Shonen protagonist arc. Had to pass tense. Now it's much better. It's better than mine, even. And mine's, I guess mine's not that good, but... You currently have much, much better spacing than you used to. I like mid lane. I think mid lane's fun. I'm gonna defend my... Hey, soul here. Yeah, I mean, there's pain points about about bot lane for sure, like support and things like that. Back off. Nice. This turret, we lose top turret for it, but we do get turret bottom. On my way. Did you know, guys, I have a fun story. Do you remember season three world champion Piglet of SK Telecom fame? That's right. You are looking at you are looking at a player who has personally beaten season three world champion Piglet of SK Telecom fame in lane. Whenever, uh, I think it was like season five before there was role selection. I remember I played Jinx. It was versus, was it versus his Sivir or versus his Vayne? Either way, I beat him in lane. That was wild, dude. This is back when you had to play, like you had to learn every role for ranked because there was no role selection. You just, you just got what you got. Usually based on pick order would get the priority for it. I feel like Aesol should be bought, my bad though, I guess. I can grab this, see if I can, I can probably 1v1 the Kiana, I have a lot of armor. With my ult up. Oh. Oh. Bad flash, it's okay. Three dead. I mean, we can just get inhibitors here, right? We don't need to, like, do anything super crazy here. Is a Darius back there? Is he ghosting at Aesol? Yes, he is. He's both. He's ghost and flash. Oh, that's too early. We shouldn't take that yet. But this will go badly, I think, if we take inhibitor right now. Didn't Piglet cause all the teams to lose their games? I don't remember. I know. I remember that there was drama about Piglet. Maybe he wasn't very happy in NA. It's I don't blame him. It's, uh... <laughs> like, even now, I would say... In current NA, culture is not even comparable to, like, Season 3 Korean culture. When it comes to, like, winning, right? At least in esports. Like, when, when it comes to physical sports, we're... 
no no one is better than the US when it comes to physical sports except for like soccer right or cricket and even then dude if you took LeBron James and you taught him how to play soccer it'd be over for everybody else it would be over who is Messi at that point who is Ronaldo who cares imagine LeBron James fucking six foot eight he'd kick a fucking goal every time every single time it'd be over dude the US dominates at physical sports but we don't the problem is in my opinion we don't take that mentality and put it into our esports culture if we did I think we would be a lot stronger uh, in esports Dude, if LeBron knew how to play soccer, I'm telling you, it'd be over, man. It'd be done. Don't get me wrong. Obviously, you know, Messi. Messi is the GOAT, right? But it'd be over, man. There, There's no physical comparison. LeBron is a freak, dude. Thanks for the laugh finish cap made my night. <laughs> Americans, I can't. <laughs> true, dude, true. Hey, deep down though, you know I'm right, bro. Deep down, every every soccer fan's like, you know, he has a fucking point. How long would we last if LeBron knew how to play soccer? It'd be done. <laughs> who went from the skt house getting bullied for being foreign by his own coaching staff yeah it was pretty fucked up oh also uh this is old news now but eg is just disbanded as an organization how crazy is that after they they got done abusing uh danny <laughs> jesus christ How would LeBron be that good if he's playing soccer? Okay, okay, how about this? How about this? If LeBron had a clone when he was 18 years old. All right, so here, here's what I was saying, all right? He, here's what I was saying. If, if LeBron had a clone at 18 years old, and that clone had learned to play soccer instead of basketball that clone of lebron we'll call him two brawn two brawn would be like top three soccer player in the world easy easy the the guy is that much of a freak dude i'm telling you i'm telling you bro